Over the past five months, CAF USA has defeated three major retailers, including one of the largest in North America, Saks Fifth Avenue. CAF started with designer Monique Lulier. Large nonprofits have been going after her for two years. We won in two weeks. Her final straw was when activists interrupted a sale of her wedding dresses at a bridal shop in Oklahoma. Our second target was Alice and Olivia. They had been a target of large nonprofits for over a decade. During our campaign, her store saw 18 actions in a dozen cities. Malls were invaded, phone lines flooded, and a friendly rabbit released some balloons. Alice and Olivia went fur free in 11 days. Since the 1990s, activists have been pressuring Saks Fifth Avenue to drop fur with hard hitting actions in Canada and New York. In November, we stepped in to provide a central hub for campaign research and planning, and Saks became target number one across the continent. When CEO Mark Metric was being honored at a prestigious event via Zoom, activists stormed the lobby of his Manhattan high rise. Saks folded in less than five months. Animals on fur farms are suffering in cages right now. They never see direct sunlight or feel the earth beneath their feet. They watch as their children are gassed and anally electrocuted. Neiman Marcus is one of the last retailers propping up this abuse. They are aware of the foxes, rabbit, and mink that die on fur farms for their profit margins. They simply don't care. Only one thing can stop Neiman Marcus from killing animals for fashion disruptive protests, focus, consistency, and most of all, working together. I'm Sydney with CAF USA. Help us defeat Neiman Marcus and start planning an action in your city today. Learn more at neimancarcus.io.